Hey guys, hey today I'm gonna repair my uh, Pentair pull uh, actuator valve. This is an automatic valve that <coughs> turns when I turn my when I turn on my remote control for spa or pool. Anyways, uh, it has a manual switch right here, but when you turn this manual switch, it's not working right now. Actually, it is working right now. Okay, it's not going another direction. It's going only one direction. So, <laughs> let's see. It's turning. <clears throat> you know, when I flick it down, it should turn the other, other direction. Half an hour ago, it wasn't doing anything. Okay, now see when I push it all the way down, it's not. It's doing nothing. So now it's stuck here because I can't. Ch I can't change the direction. Anyways, in the past, I used to replace this whole thing, and that cost me like 260 bucks. But then later, I found out they actually failed to sell these little micro switches, um, two pack for like 16 bucks on Amazon, and you could re replace it. And this is what controls that little switch. So you could, when you fl uh, flick that switch in the back, that's what uh, triggers these little switches, and then makes the valve churn. But these seem to go bad, and so instead of replacing the whole valve. I've been replacing this little um, uh, micro switch. They're 16 bucks for two. So I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> Actually, before I do that, I'm going to kill the power to this thing. It's not a, it's not high uh, it's not uh, high voltage, but. Alright, so I killed power to the control panel. And then I'm just gonna go and just remove the cover. In the past, I used to also take this whole uh, valve off here and take it to my workbench, but now I realize this, this saves actually more time if I just remove these little four screws and remove the cap. There it goes. And then if you look really closely, see those little micro switches? There's two of them. And that's what, what seems to be going bad whenever these uh, actuator valves stop working. When you uh, push the little manual override or uh, manual switch in the back and they don't do anything, these seem to go bad. Now I'm not sure which, which one's bad. So, so it's just ch it's cheaper and easier to replace both switches. Alright, so now that the cap is off and the power to the control panel is off, I just remove these little tiny screws that, that hold these little micro switches in place. And I just replace it. So I just. unplug that. Plug it in there, unplug that, and if you're not sure what you're doing, go ahead and take a, take a couple of pictures, that way uh, um, you have something to uh, reference if you make a mistake, but I've done this uh, three or four times now. After the second time, to be honest, I went and bought a, I went and researched the internet, and I, f I found the whole pack of switches for for 20 bucks, 20 switches I think it was. Oh, why wasn't, why isn't this? 
Oh, there we go. You just take a little tiny bit of effort there and then put that back on. Remove this switch. Here's my here's my 20 pack. You can't see it. And um, this is why I bought it. For, this is a brand. Uh, I'll put it in my description at the bottom of the video. So I, I bought a 20 pack. I think it was roughly 20 bucks. Basically a buck a switch versus 16 bucks for two from Pentair. Now, if it's a one-time deal, it's one th I would have said, but if you're fixing it every few years, uh, it kind of adds up, and and also I don't mind saving a buck or two. All right, and plug that one. Back on. Okay. Okay. screw back on now before I close this up I'm gonna go and test it out make sure it works how it's supposed to so I'm gonna turn the power back on again and try this try this, try this little switch all right powers back onto my control panel here we go let's see just so you, just so you know you can see it's working or not that's how it was. Here's, and so there it goes. It's moving back to the opposite direction. Okay, and then the other way. So what that tells me is actually it was a left switch that was bad because it wouldn't go back the other direction. So now it's going back and forth both directions. So again, uh, if you want to save even more, you just replace that with the left switch because it wouldn't go back from this position to the opposite direction. So that tells me your left micro switch was bad. So, anyways, um, I'll go and put the cover back on. And that's a, basically what, uh, 15 minutes, if that. And save myself 260 bucks if I was to replace the whole pump. Or even I save, uh, um, well, if you're called pool guy, it'd cost you probably 300. But, uh, well, actually, probably more. Two sixty-four new. I'm putting some. Um, I'm putting some. Um, 3M, 3M, uh, 3M silicone paste over the gasket. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. I'm putting some 3M um, silicone around the seal, so uh, makes it waterproof again. That way, there's no water um, intrusion when, when it rains or something. Or if I'm spraying down the pool equipment for some reason, which I don't do often, but um, there may be times when I do that. So, yeah, so um, basically, a buck a switch I paid, 15, 15 minutes of my time, and uh, not, not have to wait for a pull man to get here. That's just all painful. Just waiting for somebody to get to your house to fix fix something that could, you could do in 15 minutes. All right, here it goes. And then the four screws.
And today, it'll probably take even a little bit longer because I was, I was trying to create this little video. Oh, actually, I made it because I was in a hurry to close this up. One of the wires is sticking out and like sticking out over here on this left side. So anyways, I don't want to bore you guys with this anyways, but that's how you fix it. So, all right, take care. Bye.